I really wasn't going to go back to reacting, but in the location I'm at right now, I'm getting kind of bored. So I got to do something with my life and reaction videos it is. Welcome back, Bliss Uncensored. Thank you for everyone who stayed subscribed and thank you for everyone who is new and are interested in my videos. Listen, we're gonna go straight to it. Krista and Alexis. I have not seen what they've been up to. I know there's been a little issues from the past between them and I, but you know what? We're gonna start from a clean slate. They did the very first podcast with Snow the Product on Everyday Days. I used to be a hip hop artist in Chicago, so uh, Snow was actually pretty big over there. She had a lot of shows there all the time and I had the opportunity to open up for her. I decided not to. I was picking and choosing who I wanted to open up for and I just didn't go with her and I, I kind of, I don't regret it, but I should have, you know what I'm saying? Because she's doing great nowadays. Um, but yeah, let's get straight to it. The podcast was three hours and 20 minutes long. We're not gonna do all that, okay? We're just gonna get to the juicy details about their sex life, okay? I'm interested, I'm very curious to know how they get down, if they do get down in their 10 year relationship, but we're gonna find out today. Y'all ready to react? Cause I am, let's get it. Why we, why we need a farm? You know what? Yo, if y'all get a farm and then I have a farm, we could barter, bro. We can literally Yo. go back to the fucking <laughs> Oregon Trail, dog. Yeah, I was about to say fucking that. lit, dude. Like, just go with your wheelbarrow with a whole bunch of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some of us can make jam. Some of us can make butter. Some of us can make bread. Yo, it's going it's a down. Whole gay community. Community. Gonna get bread. farms. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't bake, but my she brother ain't does. gonna do no. She don't cook, so she oh, don't do me. I'm dead. Mm -hmm. I don't cook. What do you like to do? Uh, if you don't cook, then you like something. Because I don't cook. To eat. I like to. Be I like to, to be go a out to be <laughs> a I like little pillow somebody. princess. Shut the fuck up. I'm dead. Don't be doing that to me. I'm a pillow princess because I'm going to tell y'all I'm going to be 100%. Okay, this is oh, 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 I didn't even oh, hear the word pillow. Oh, oh, like I that shit. I am. Oh, oh, listen. On different oh, pages here. Okay, okay, okay. Alexis is on some different level right now. Okay, she's, she's ready to talk about the bedroom. They weren't even on that. But hey, I'm down for it. Let's go. Tell you. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. I, I got coffee in here. Okay, so anyways, okay, yes. Woo. All right. is drinking water. Yes, I am a pillow princess, and the reason why I'm a pillow princess, <laughs> okay, it's not because I want to be a pillow princess, it's because I'm married to somebody <laughs> that was what gives you it to you. <laughs> <right? laughs> <laughs> no, that's not me, baby. Me. Me. No, no. <laughs> What the hell? Did, what do they call you? <laughs> touch me, touch not? me not. That's what it is. A touch <laughs> me oh, not. Oh. <laughs> She's a touch me not. And yeah. I found that out later. <sighs> okay, it's awkward now because <laughs> I don't think the conversation was intended to go there, but it went there and it's there now. So let's have this talk. She's a touch me not. I, di I did not know that. That's very interesting. I don't know if she ever talked about it, if this is the first time they're talking about it, but... The thing about touch me nots is that I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't know why these studs or masculine presenting women don't want to be touched. Just because you guys enjoy giving it, why not receive it? You know what I'm saying? Have a good time. It's pleasurable. But then I'm actually on the asexual spectrum. I'm demisexual. I lean more towards asexual. So who am I to say anything? You know what I'm saying? I do enjoy sex when I have it. Okay. Let's make that clear. I just have to have feelings involved. Otherwise, I'm not going to enjoy it. Because I figured that out at the age of 37, I'm 38 now, I'm kind of having a better understanding of other people's sexual pre preferences so listen if she don't want to be touched let her let her let her be but it's okay <laughs> it happens you know i, I love her <laughs> they've been drinking <laughs> they've been i gotta drinking. go pee anyways make an exit girl man, i don't know what the fuck is going on <laughs> It's because I have a lot to say about these subjects, but I already know who I am. So Wait, are you going to tell me uh, No. no. Fuck no. Okay. But <laughs> I want to hear about it. A little bit. A little bit. Wait, okay. Wait, so wait, wait. Just be real. Don't continue. I've been holding my pee pee. Shorty said don't continue. Okay, you continue. I've been holding my pee pee for so She's long She's holding time. her pee, so you continue. You say something, and then we're going to continue this conversation. Girl, stop. No, I don't have. I have silk pillows. They're better for your face. 
and hair. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Oh, Poncho said, "Carry me, bitch." Uh, I wonder if she made an exit to uh, okay escape so, the conversation, no. or yeah, she really needs no. to be. We're gonna find no, out. No, I'm not. Um, it, You're not. What? It depends on the person I'm with and what is happening. Like, I'm different with different people. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay. Like the same makes as you sense. clearly makes sense. okay if the person that you're <laughs> with is a touch me not and you want to respect their boundaries then yeah. you respect their boundaries 100%, right yeah. so right. i've been with somebody who was a quote-unquote femme when they when i met them and then they said i don't want you to do this this and this and so then i respect that but then when i didn't then they when we broke up made it seem like i never but it was like you told me you had a problem because of trauma so i didn't you know what I mean? Right. Like you just right. don't want to. You're respectful. So, to me, also, I'm just like now. I'm like. Look, By the end know? of the day, everyone's everyone has different wants and needs when it comes to the bedroom. So, your style of sex or techniques or skill set is gonna change by person the best sex is when you're actually pleasing your partner. You're giving them what they want, what they need, and not making them uncomfortable. That's always gonna be the best sex want out the gate but also my questions on a first day have changed now because i'm like here's my 10 things that i just at least like let me know what what we're getting into and i'll give you mine which is one i'm not ready for a relationship so if you want to continue this just know i'm a mess right now and good luck may may the odds be ever in your fucking favor (laughs) (laughs) she laughed from the toilet that's chris like get your ass back in here i guess i mean i I want to hear about this like at all Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was more of a dom. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Why is that? What, what, what no. was the wife? Wow for it. Oh, sorry. No, just like I thought you were going to share more. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to react to well, no, so I'm trying to share more, but I'm not sure. If, I mean, can, they, can I talk? Right. I can't talk. I can't say shit yet until she comes back. Yeah, let her defend herself. Come on now. <laughs> can't speak for her. Anyway. How about you? Talk about that. Like, what, like no, you're a fucking femme. Uh, no. you, you're a dumb femme. Are you a femme? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's laughing? That's you. I hate when they Why do this. Why are you laughing when they so have much? People in the background, we can hear hey, them, but we can't see them. I hate that Did shit. Did you flush the toilet? I want to see. Hands Shut up, oh, girl. I'm she being gross. Um, okay. Okay, it's just what y'all that we rather give than receive because that is what makes us the most comfy. That's what Marilyn said. It's, oh. A lot of my fans are in green. So there might be some of y'all's fans in white, or there might be some new people in here in white. Got gotcha. you. Well, All right, Chris is back. Um, We're going to so talk about it. Because I told y'all stop talking, but y'all obviously didn't. Well, no, we, we <laughs> Speak didn't on it, girl. Much. Yeah, yeah, we we listening. I waited for you. When I first met Krista, I was like, damn, she's fine. She didn't present herself. She's very pretty. As more as masculine. So. Well, how long ago? Like, just so. That was 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah, we've been mm-hmm. together, <laughs> together for 10 years. That's, that's fire. <laughs> Long but time. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, when I was like trying to show her my side and be like nasty and like <laughs> show her my freaky side and stuff, she found that so gross. <laughs> she was like, ew. It was, I was like, <laughs> the fuck? What you mean? You're taking the second job, half of the you? podcast now, guys. So let's, let's get into it. I can kind of understand that because I don't like that neither. Like, I, I don't like when. The feminine women that I'm with become too aggressive, too demanding, too <laughs> too much. Okay, because then I feel like ill. I feel like I'm dating a man, and I'm like, I, mm-mm, y- y- stop that, please. It's making me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I get go that. Go ahead. I'll share if y'all share. No, go ahead. Oh, you, what? Oh, like <laughs> details? Share. I'll share oh. details. Like, no, I, I'm I just saying. I'm it. just wondering because there's similarities, and I've gone through this before. Like where it's like. Maybe I was a certain way at the beginning, and then it's like, oh, it gets a little like, it's like, whoa. So it's like, so go ahead. Continue. Yeah, yeah. I was messing I'm around with her. Bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was messing around with her, and like, she was, she didn't like what I was doing. Oh, at all. Okay. Go ahead. You want me to say the details? Not too much. much. No. no. <laughs> That's just how you feel. Well, what signs are y'all? I'm like, I'm assuming Scorpio, because she's I'm a Scorpio. You're a Scorpio. That's the shyest Scorpio I've ever met. I agree. Oh, so you got a different side to you it's that you're It's not a shy. Scorpios, no, because I know Scorpios. Scorpios are known to be very sexual. So, like, that's interesting. Uh, and mm-hmm. it's like either you put it out there or you don't at all. And then I got to find out about it. <laughs> so which one is it? No, I'm pretty open in, in certain circumstances. I'm a Virgo. Oh. 
I can see that. I know. I, I can see He's that. A Virgo. <laughs> my poon, I think my moon is a Capricorn. <laughs> Her poon or poon. Gemini. I know it's a Capricorn and Gemini. What the fuck? Hold I, on. Let me let me go on. I wrote yeah, mine down <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Hold on. She said, my moon's doing the splits. <laughs> <laughs> I did write mine down somewhere. No, you didn't write Yo, it. Snow is funny. Like, like if you actually it. watch her show, her it podcast, she's stuff. pretty funny. No. I, well, it's on she's there. an alcoholic, one hundred percent. That's out <laughs> she ain't gonna say I, it, but she I, is. This girl's an alcoholic. It might take but she also self medicates because I'm she something. has she's got stage fright so, and right. so yeah, my moon's a Capricorn anxiety, so Gemini. Wow, my Dang. moon's a Gemini and my rising's a Capricorn. Wow. What's yours? What is I told it? you I told you to go on that shit. <laughs> but I, I uninstalled it. <laughs> what? Let's see. Mm. Wait, Let's what's your see. sign? Cancer. Cancer. They're emotional. How do you know that? Um, cancers are sensitive, which comes across emotional, but it's actually Pisces that are emotional. Who the uh, fuck's a cancer Kristen. that we know? Oh. No, Kristen's a Pisces. Uh, who you know is a cancer? Oh. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's you. You be doing that shit. <laughs> I, that's me. I do that. Right. What, what's your What's your moon and your rising? Uh, Pisces moon and a Sagittarius rising. Oh, I like Pisces. Me and Pisces. So when's your birthday? What'd you say, Alexa? Oh, I'm the 26th. Oh, nice. Alexa, yeah. sorry. It started. Okay, I'm not doing all this shit right now. But I get it. All right. How do they know? What are you? You're Pisces. Oh, I, I just love, love that. Pisces. I love Pisces. <laughs> I love Pisces too. Yeah. Well, Kristen's I think the only Pisces I know. That. Yeah. They uh, Pisces get us. <laughs> Krista, Alexis, ladies, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> Listen, I mean no harm, you guys. My past videos about you, it, me it meant there was no ill intent behind my videos i just observed something that i wanted to speak on speak on in our gay community so that's what i did i have nothing against you ladies listen i'm a pisces i i get y'all they get me not you <laughs> you know I'm that's dead. true you know that's true oh, we do need to kick it with y'all y'all <laughs> i'm like what the but you oh. do i get that vibe from you of, of like y'all got more of a similar vibe which is funny and we're scared, so I I get it too. <laughs> I'm like I'm like I'm starting. I like cancer. I get it. I get it. Definitely. I think cancers Look, are sweet. Um, let's let's just go back to this whole thing of what. It's not that I don't like. Ooh, tool, you about to get touched tonight? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna talk about no. This. I'm not that <laughs> either. No, she said I thought it was nasty. It's not. It's not okay, that I think explain. things are nasty. I just don't like certain things done to me. So in that case, I'm like. Ew, why would you even think of doing that to me? Like, so it's like that. <laughs> There's not that many things okay. that can be done. Right. What the fuck? No, it's like, I don't You're really. You're making more questions than you <laughs> answers. I'm just saying, sometimes there's moments in your life that you are not going to think of that because you're like in the moment. Yeah. But even Especially if like, let's say your, your relationships are like struggling and you're just like, yo, I'm really just like, one la like let's just try to yeah. find this one moment or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And maybe like I got a flight and like straight from the flight, like I just came from 10 hours of flying and I'm just like, yo, fuck it. Pick me up from the airport. Like we'll buy clothes. We'll do whatever we need to do to just save the night tonight. And then you want to start an argument and now we fighting. Now, next thing you Damn, know, it's just like, it just I, I think she's ruined. talking it's from like, experience okay, right now. That's, that's a story she yeah. had. You know, so. like that's just how it be okay all right well okay <laughs> but no hand sanitizer though don't don't put no hand sanitizer on your hands and then try to touch me with that shit no hand sanitizer touching no but, but it's not even that though I water can, bro I, you got some I, water in your car keep a walking water bottle at least or something I, but i personally just don't and that's like okay it, like, okay I just, and that's I just okay don't like that stuff it doesn't, yeah, she doesn't it does it, it doesn't please, please her me. Oh. And that's okay, yeah, that's but I'm very interested in knowing and how their relationship is still working out because of that. Because it seems like Alexis is wanting to and willing to give, um, but she's not allowed to, obviously, because her wife doesn't like that. So that kind of limits her in the bedroom because she's going to always be a, a, a pillow princess and who always wants to receive all the time like giving is also pleasurable so i kind of feel for alexis in a way but that's the dynamic they're in and they've been together for 10 years so it seems to be okay i'm sure there was some arguments about it here and there but they already know where they stand when it comes to that <laughs> 
it's always going to be hard for someone like Krissa in relationships because of that, when she's with someone who also is a giver. So that's, I'm going to have those type of issues too, being um, on the asexual spectrum, because sex is such a big thing in relationships and finding someone that is okay with my sexuality. It's going to be hard to find. So I'm limited as well. I just personally just... She just doesn't, doesn't like, like it. it. It's not that okay. I haven't allowed her to because I know it, it, it's something that she enjoys and I've tried it, but then she's like, well, you're not really enjoying it. So, so I'm what's like, the point? Right. what's not gonna the point? Do that right. shit. You know what I'm so I'm like, great. That's why I'm a pillow princess now. <laughs> and yeah, Fair. I'm not asking. I'm not like. So you're not a pillow princess. But she's not complaining. You're I'm not Let's finish that <laughs> sentence. I get you now. Okay, so now I get that. It's not uh, necessarily that you're a pillow princess. You're just like married. That's. Cool. Right. I'm so don't married. throw out pillow princess. <laughs> pillow princess would be like, ew, like do it for me, but like I'm not gonna do it for you because it's gross. True. Exactly. It's like, like I'll eat it up. Let's go. I'll strap it up. Let's go. Bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? Bang, so how does bang. that work? Because <laughs> marriage is for life. So they've been together for ten years. So Alexis, are you willing to stay a pillow princess for the rest of your life? Think about it, because it seems like you enjoy giving, <laughs> but you can't. So how does that work? Next time I see you out there playing basketball right before you shoot, I'm like, bang, bang! No, no, thank you. Oh man. Well, no shit. We know that already. But it's okay, babe. <laughs> it bothers Alexis a little bit. Yeah. They've sorry. definitely no, argued no, no, about it's it. It's all good. I mean, I want to keep it comfortable, but also it's just like, oh, uh, I don't need the know married life. Podcast, man. I'll tend to get myself in trouble. Oh, oh. So I just be, you it's know, okay. be but chilling. Yeah. Um. I feel you. Like, we've talked about this plenty of times, like, bringing in somebody, you know? Oh, just mm -hmm. because... This, she just she just goes ways. <laughs> like, how do, how do we even get to a lot of these conversations? Like, how do we get I here? just... Because I want to have the some alcohol. fun, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, I've heard from other, mm -hmm. like, um, relationships, like, oh, we've tried to bring someone else in. And I'm like, is... Is that a thing? Yeah. I think it's more like one of those things where it's like a fantasy type of thing. Of People course, it's build a thing. it up to be like so mm -hmm. much fun, yeah. so much like, oh, for real, like for me, it's like it's like it's like smoking weed. Like people hype it up so much, and then when you try, it's like, oh, it ain't that big of a deal, in my personal <laughs> opinion, right? But like when, okay, for or or it's like if somebody's been in a long re relationship and they try to spice things up, that mm -hmm. type of deal, or um, some people might have other intentions. Um, but like, I think you just have to be in the right the right mindset. If that's some people really thrive off that of you it. want, or yeah. like not even thrive, but like they're really okay with it. Like, like people who are polygamous, yeah, polygamous people who are in open relationships, it works for them. Okay, but I did, but I also have noticed that those type of relationships are not lifelong. Like they don't last forever and i'm thinking it's because of that like it's fun in the moment it's like gives you good memories good times sometimes bad times because when the couple agrees to bring someone in the bedroom it's only supposed to be all three and that's it but there's times where one partner calls that third person on the side without their other partner knowing and cheats on them because that is cheating when you're not involving your partner in that decision and then it fucks up the relationship Bringing someone in the bedroom doesn't always help the relationship. It kind of makes it worse. So be careful, ladies. Like, all that. Wait, what the like, fuck? Like, Y'all are talking about all this sexual shit and somebody says, I want to give Snow a flower. <laughs> <laughs> like, the fact that that's my energy, Aww. bro. Like, I want to give Snow a flower. I'm Aww. like, thank you. Thank I you. think it depends. It depends on the right. That. It depends on the right reason. <laughs> Uh, you have to you have to ask your partner why are you doing this why yeah. do you want to bring somebody right you be open is, to it. yeah like are you doing this because you don't love me anymore are you doing this because um this is your way to get somebody else because you're bored of me or is this a just a mutual agreement because we both want to have fun mm -hmm. you yeah. know what i mean at least the conversation so, is being brought up fun. and not too controlling to not yeah, yeah done behind their back the scorpio side guys That's initially yeah, i was like Y'all, y'all like, oh, y'all can I, do it, but we can't do it, and that's, that's what I told her. Up that's shit. terrible. Mm -hmm. Nobody doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, damn. Oh, so like, that's if y'all wanted to bring in a third, you think that you would be okay with bringing in your type, but maybe not you. No, I'd be her type. Yeah, yes, but also only doing something. <laughs> but you said you ain't got no type, so that means that technically I, it would the, be up to her. The thing is, for me, if she brings in her type, I 
it's just a little bit too much for me Mm. i don't like a lot of ass Mm. you know what i'm saying i like athletic women Mm mm-hmm the guy have like a nice bubble butt, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a good amount. You're like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, not, not too much. much. Like but someone that looks like me and just like has. That's all what that makes ass, it hard I too. I just can't. Well, I don't that's, that's what makes it hard too is finding someone that you both are sexually attracted to. Other, if you don't find that, then only one person's gonna be pleased. Then with them either. You know yeah, what I'm you see how so she, she just is? gotta watch. So it's a third for you. Oh, so you want her to just mm-hmm. sit on the just chair? Just watch. Every hotel has that chair. We know what that chair is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just so watch. No, what? Just sit and what? watch. What? Just sit and watch. But it's like, I know yeah, that's not right. Yeah, sit and watch and enjoy it. I know it's not right. right. But yeah. it's just like, and this is at why. least she knows that I know that I know that <laughs> she knows. That that's that why we right. still talk about it. Then just don't do it. it. That's all we do. Uh, we never okay, you guys haven't done it yet. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Just leave it there. Listen, you guys have been going through a lot of downs in your relationship don't add to it adding someone to the relationship like that is gonna fuck it up I and mean, it's a definite divorce don't do it what the fuck am i daydreaming about i'm so, trying to keep i'm trying to host a goddamn podcast here <laughs> but i have Girl. gone steps forward though for what what have what, what i the came prog- to i came progress? it was it was a thought that hey look since i don't allow her to be um dominant with me I could potentially because okay. me it's like I can't see her being pleased by somebody else. That's like I just don't like that thought. Like I don't think I could. So what if that. you bring in a femme that's your type, but she? A lot of the partners I've been with have had threesomes in their past. I have never did it. I don't judge it. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't see my partner getting pleased by someone else or hearing her moan. Okay, uh, it'll get me a little insecure. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm like, damn, you moaned a little too loud for me there. I couldn't do it. And that's what I'm trying to be okay with. Like, just to, for her to get, since she can't do that with me, and that's something that she would like yeah. to do. I get do. that. I get so that. So it's like, okay, well, maybe I'd mm. be okay with bringing somebody that she's dominant towards. And we can yeah, both be- because you're depriving her from what she loves to do. She, she, you're going to deprive that of her for the rest of your life? Think about it. I feel for her, you know? I'm in it towards, you know? And so then they're the pillow princess. But, then, <laughs> but this is the thing. Y'all don't need a lot of pillows. When that shit happens, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all need a lot of pillows. Good thing she's addicted to pillows because we got way y'all too many pillows at home. I got way too many pillows in she has. Fucking- All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and cut the video here. It, like I said, it's a three-hour podcast. I suggest that you guys go watch it. It's Everyday Days by Snow the Product. And just watch the show. They actually did a great job on the podcast. Um, I actually like their dynamic in this video. So go watch it. And you guys, please stay subscribed. I might react to some more videos. Comment below. Let me know who you want me to react to. Because I've been outside of YouTube for a while now. And I don't know who I should be reacting to anymore. So please comment below. Give me some ideas. See y'all in the next video. Peace.